Good evening, friends, and welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom. Hey, Doug Larson, come on in the house. Hello, Catherine Crumpler. Good to have you back. See who else will jump in here and join us tonight for Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. It's been a hot one out there. I know if you're in Myrtle Beach, you know all about that, and uh, as well as many other parts of the world right now that are hot. Hello, hello, Kathy and Jeffrey. Welcome in the welcome in the Rainbow Ballroom. Our theme for tonight is um, taken from the Beatitudes where Jesus said, Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Well, for those of us who have lost loved ones, it's all about seeking that comfort. Comfort as we're mourning the loss of loved ones. Make a slight adjustment here if I can. Had a bright, glaring light in it there. Well, welcome back. It is the 25th day of July, and it's going to be our last Tuesday in the month of July for Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. And we're going to think about what it means to seek comfort when we're mourning. It's hard to believe we're just six months out from Christmas. It's even harder for me to believe that it's just about two years since Dad uh, entered hospice down in uh, Scotland County and spent seven days, his final seven days, in hospice care with friends and family and others coming in to visit him. And we sang hymns and gospel songs. We prayed together. We laughed together. And then we stuck with him through his dying together. July 31st is the actual anniversary of my father's death, his promotion to the church triumphant, his grand reunion with my mother, who was there ahead of him. And I can just tell you, I sure do miss mom and dad both. And I'm not done grieving their deaths. Uh, so tonight's theme about comfort for those who mourn is as much for me as for any of you who have lost someone that you love. It's about lament, it's about mourning, and it's about uh, seeking God's comfort. So as folks are gathering in, I've got a gathering song. Somebody 
somebody singing, Lord, Kumbaya. Whoa, somebody singing, Lord, Kumbaya. Whoa, somebody singing, Lord, Kumbaya. We're singing wind, rain, fire, storm, Kumbaya. 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 Somebody's laughing, Lord, Kumbaya. Whoa, somebody's laughing, Lord, Kumbaya. Whoa, somebody's laughing, Lord, Kumbaya. We're singing wind, rain, fire, storm, Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Come by here, Lord. Some of us are grieving. Some of us are mourning. <clears throat> well, let's join together with an opening prayer. Let's thank God for the good things of this day through which we have been blessed. Think back over the course of today, the things that have blessed you. Hey, Betsy Hughes, welcome. Um... I'm going to name a few things. You think of your list. For news which was good or information we got that was promising, we thank you, God. For a word spoken to us today which we want to hold on to and keep in our minds, we thank you, God. For people who've come into our home or spoken to us on the phone or been brought to our attention today, we thank you, God. For those we want to be close to, despite the distance between us, we thank you, God. For a word from God which is important to me or to you at this time, we thank you, God. For health care, divine intervention, and special care, we thank you, Lord. For those who shape our vision and those who share our purpose in life, we thank you, Lord. And for Jesus Christ, who has summoned us and promised to be with us today and tomorrow and forever, we thank you, God. Amen. Now, this is out of our hymnal. It's an old one. There's a bomb in Gilead. Sometimes when we're hurting, we need to know that there is a balm, as the Bible says, balm in Gilead. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul sometimes i feel discouraged and think my work's in vain but then the holy spirit revives my soul again There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. If you cannot preach like Peter, if you cannot pray like Paul, you can tell the love of Jesus 
and say he died for all. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a balm in Gilead to heal the sin sick soul. It's great to know that God does offer comfort and God knows our sadness and our mourning. Hear this word from Isaiah chapter 61, verses one to seven. The word of God for you and for me. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me and he has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display God's glory. And in Matthew chapter five, verse four, Jesus says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Friends, this is God's word for God's people. And we say thanks be to God. Welcome in Jesse Gonzalez, D. Hammond. Welcome to the Rainbow Ballroom. Our theme tonight is seeking comfort when we are mourning. Jesus says, blessed are they who mourn, they shall be comforted. But at times when we are mourning, we want to know where's the comfort. So tonight we're thinking about how God brings the comfort. This next one reminds us that God has got an eye on us. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he's watching me. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonesome and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free, for his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Let not your heart be troubled, his tender words I hear and resting in his goodness I lose my doubt and fear though by the path he leadeth but one step I may see his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because. 
cause I'm free for his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me whenever I am tempted whenever clouds arise when songs give place to sighing I draw the closer to him From care he sets me free His eye is on the sparrow And I know he watches me His eye is on the sparrow I sing because I'm happy I sing because I'm free For his eye is on the sparrow And I know he watches me Well, I've got a little meditation to share on comfort for those who are mourning. The Bible talks about lament, lament being the act of actively mourning when you're suffering a loss, you're grieving the loss of a loved one. And Isaiah says God understands. And in his scripture that we've read earlier, he offers us a garland of fresh cut flowers instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning in sackcloth. He offers us a mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. And in God's eyes, we are considered oaks of righteousness for God, a planting of God, like we're a living display for others of God's glory in the midst of God ministering to us in our time of loss. Isaiah says we're clothed with garments of salvation and with robes of righteousness, like a bridegroom who wears a celebratory garland or like a bride who is adorned with jewels on her wedding day or like a master gardener, God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up in us before all the nations. And Jesus in Matthew promises that all who grieve will be comforted. It doesn't mean we'll always feel it, but it does mean God will always comfort us. And I say, how good of God. Another oldie but goodie. Oh, love that wilt not let me go. And yes, we're in lament tonight, so these are somewhat mournful tunes, but they're important because we got to speak to the spectrum of people's feelings. Oh, love that will not let me go, I rest my weary soul in thee, I give back the life I own, that in the ocean depths its flow may richer, fuller be. O light that followest all my ways, I yield my flickering torch to thee. Heart restores its borrowed rain that in my sunshine's blaze its day may brighter, fairer be. Oh, joy that 
seekest me through pain. I cannot close my heart to thee. I trace the rainbow through the rain and feel the promise is not in vain. That morn shall tearless be. O cross that lift is up my head, I dare not ask to fly to thee. I lay in dust life's glory dead, and from blossoms red that life shall in this be well I say thanks be to God who does comfort us in our times of lament and mourning friends we can worship God even in our darkest times of death and loss and grief by using prayers of, of lament. We find them in the Psalms. We find them in the book of Lamentations, but it's one of the prayers we're given, a type that we maybe rarely talk about. And yet in times when we're uh, at a loss because of loss, it's a necessary part of our prayer lives. It's those times when we experience of what St. John of the Cross called the dark night of the soul. Prayers of lament can truly be helpful in those times as we pour our hearts out to God, sharing the good, the bad, the ugly, the painful, the angry. You know, we live in a broken world where things just don't always go right or work out the way we would like them to. And there are times, no matter how much we've prayed, that things still don't straighten out. We're not sure what God is doing or which way to turn. Bringing a prayer of lament before God can help us because God actually hears and changes us during these times when we pour out our hearts to God. Prayers of lament are a form of worship and they're an expression of faith. They're an outpouring of our deepest utterances. And even if all we have is groans and tears, scripture tells us that the Holy Spirit translates that prayer to God. So we worship God even in the midst of difficult times. Instead of pulling back from God during a hard time of loss or those dark nights of our soul, we can face the pain and worship God even in the midst of our pain, knowing that we're not alone. It's an act of faith and love when in those times we offer it all to God and worship, when we put it all out there before God's throne of grace and entrust it to God's care. You see, lamentation is a powerful and meaningful form of personal worship because it places our love for God above even the worst circumstances in our lives. You know, God doesn't ask us to deny the existence of our suffering or to look away from our times of loss. God wants us to make those things, those times, those hurts into an offering to God, trusting God fully with them and believing that God can bring good even out of difficult times and deep losses. This next song is Oh How He Loves You and Me, credited to Kurt Kaiser. Hello, Jerry Ison. Hello, Linda Tanner. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. 
He gave his life for life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Jesus to Calvary did go. His love for sinners to show. What he did there brought hope from despair. Oh, how he loved you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Sorry, I'm a little rusty on that one. I apologize. But surely God does love you and me, rusty or not. Let's bow together and share a prayer of lament. Lord, we know that you're faithful over all things, even the darkest nights of our soul. Help us not back away from you in our times of grief and loss. Help us instead to lean into you and trust you even more, even when we don't understand your ways. Please keep our heads above waters of anguish and keep our feet from slipping off the ground of truth. Help us see you in these hard moments and glorify you with our praise, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. This next song is by Ed Cash and Scott Cash called Nobody Loves Me Like You. Morning, I see you in the sunrise every morning. It's like the picture that you've painted for me. Love letters in the sky The story You could have had a really different story But you came down from heaven to restore me Forever save my life Nobody loves me like you love me, Jesus. I stand in awe of your amazing ways. I worship you as long as I am breathing. No one got you are faithful and true. Nobody loves me like you. Breaking down the weight of all my mountains Even when it feels like I'm surrounded You never leave me on Nobody loves me like you love me, Jesus. I stand in awe of your amazing ways. I worship you as long as I am breathing. God, you are faithful and true. Nobody loves me like you. Oh, what a song to sing. Oh, what a song to sing. Oh, 
what a song to sing Oh, what a song in my heart keeps singing Jesus, you love me and I love you, God Nobody loves me like you love me, Jesus I stand in awe of your amazing ways I worship you as long as I am me like you love me, Jesus. I stand in awe of your amazing ways. I worship you as long as I am breathing. God, you are faithful and true. Nobody loves me like you. Nobody loves me like you love me, Jesus. I stand in awe of your amazing Nobody loves me like you. Nobody loves me like you. Nobody does love us like God loves us. And God inspires us to, us to love others like that too. Well, I want to thank you for coming out tonight to share in these uh, virtual Vespers on this final Tuesday in the month of July. I do have a prayer request. I have a nuclear stress test tomorrow morning and an echocardiogram on Thursday. And then I meet with my new cardiologist for some test results and treatment recommendations. So pray for that heart work going on over the next couple of days. I'll appreciate those prayers. A few reminders, we invite you to continue worshiping with us at Celebration Presbyterian Church. We'd love to have you in person if you're in Myrtle Beach. 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard is where we're lo located, in the heart of the Carolina Forest in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Our services are Sunday at 11 a.m. We're in person, but we're also live streaming on YouTube and Facebook. Next week, we're doing VBS July 31st through August 3rd, 6 to 8 p.m. nightly for kids ages 3 to 11. We'd love to have yours. All are welcome. There'll be no Vespers next week due to VBS happening at Celebration, uh, but we'll be back, good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We've been collecting socks for Santa throughout July, and those will be distributed at Christmas along with sneakers we collect during November. Uh, Red Cross, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Salvation Army helps us distribute those to needy families at the holidays. Uh, looking ahead, if you're able to give blood, we are having a blood drive in August on August 24th. <clears throat> it's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's a Thursday, August 24th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. <laughs> This next one is one of the older ones, another oldie but goodie, My Jesus, I Love Thee. My Jesus, I love thee, I know thou art mine, for thee all the follies of sin. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art Thou, if ever I love Thee, my Jesus, tis now, I love Thee because Thou first love me. I purchase my pardon on Calvary's tree. I love thee for wearing the thorns on my brow. For if Love thee in life. 
and thank you again for coming out to be a part of this gathering in the Rainbow Ballroom on this Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. This comes to us from the Iona community and it's a favorite, so you may have heard me share it before, but I'll share it again. It's a good one. Look at your hands. See the touch and the tenderness. God's own for the world. Now look down at your feet. See the path and direction. God's own for the world. Look at your heart. See the fire and the love. God's own for the world. Look at the cross. See God's Son and our Savior. God's own for the world. This is God's world and we will serve God in it. And may God bless you and God keep you always and lead your lives with love. Amen. Well, watch for your weekly celebration email updates and read them, please. If you're not on our list and would like to be, call our church office at 843-903-0308. That's 843-903-0308. And you can ask Irma Stackhouse to add your email to our email list, and we'll send out two a week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, the Tuesday email blast focuses on upcoming activities in the life of our church. Thursday focuses on our upcoming worship on the following Sunday. Gives you the liturgy and the words of the hymns and helps you participate more fully wherever you are. So we'd love to have you on our list. Uh, this uh, next song is by Ben Glover and Chris Tomlin and Reuben Morgan. It's another one in the love vein called Jesus Loves Me. I was lost, I was in chain, the world had a hold on me. My heart was a stone. It was covered in shame when he came for me. Couldn't run, couldn't run from his presence. Couldn't run, couldn't run from his arms. Jesus, he loves me. He loves me. He is for me. And Jesus, how can it be? He loves me. He is for me. It was a fire deep in my soul. I'll never be the same. I stepped out of the dark and 
coming into the light when he called my name. I couldn't run, couldn't run from his presence. Couldn't run, couldn't run from his arms. And Jesus, he loves me. He loves me. He is for me. And Jesus, how can it be? He loves me. He is for me. He holds the stars and he holds my heart. With healing hands that bear the scars. The rugged cross where he died for me. My only hope. My everything And Jesus He loves me He loves me Oh Jesus How can it be He loves me He is for me He loves me He loves me He loves me loves me, he loves, he is for me, he loves me, he loves me, he loves me, he loves me, he loves, he is for me, my God, it's amazing, oh Jesus, he loves And he loves you too, but I'm his favorite. Or at least that's what my siblings used to say. Listen, if you want to support this ministry of celebration monetarily, you may go to our website, which is celebrationpresbyterianchurch.org. Celebrationpresbyterianchurch.org. And you can choose there the donate now or the recurring payment option and make your secure online gift. Either way, thank you for participating here tonight, and thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. And on behalf of Celebration Presbyterian Church USA, located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard, in the heart of the Carolina Forest community, friends know this, God loves you, and so do we. Got one more song for you, and this one I'm going to dedicate to my dear old dad. And something tells me he's kicking it with us in heaven. So join in on I'll Fly Away. Well, some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. On God's celestial shore, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Well, when the shadows of this life have grown, I'll fly away. Like a bird from his bars has flown, I'll fly away. Well, I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away in the morning when I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Well, just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away to a land where joy shall never end. I'll fly away. Sing with me now. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning 
will not die. Hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Yes, will not die. Hallelujah, by and by, oh, I'll fly away. Listen, friends, thanks for coming out to the Rainbow Ballroom to be a part of this edition of the Tuesday Evening Virtual Vespers, where we have sought after the comfort of God in times when we're mourning. And I pray that you still will pray those prayers of lament if your heart is broken and recovering from grief. Give it to God. And until we meet again, I say good night and God bless y'all real good. Thanks for coming out.